Hey everyone, Rob Wiseguy82 here. Let's see. It's not a look hard, I guess. Alright. New little spot. You guys know these are my old, uh, been saving these for almost since I started. These are my comic lists. That one says 858515. Maybe I started, has it only been since 2015 that I started reading comics? I know I've said 14 in a couple of videos. Because this, I started doing these, yeah, because I bought my first book in April. May, June, July. So yeah, four months, three or four months after that I started, I figured that out, but uh, uh other stuff I got over so this is my manga shelf I got all kinds of stuff a lot of goodies uh, you can't quite see the top but my hard covers are up there some other good stuff yeah, let's see if we can yeah there you go oh look there you go that uh, the book that you can't see that's behind my owl right there is uh, I don't know if I've shown it have I shown that yeah I showed that uh, a while ago uh, then I got so I got like three shelves Right there. What else can I show you? That eh, there's some of my other stuff over there. Boxes. All right. Anyways, uh, some badass posters back there. That's my poster corner. All right. Anyways. All right. So the first book. So uh, new comic book day video for um, November fourteenth. First one we got, this is Gin, uh, Captain Ginger. This is freaking awesome. From Ahoy Comics, the new uh, the new publisher uh, under Grant Morrison. This was way better than I expected. I didn't, well, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect, but it was, uh, it made me laugh. It was, if you're a cat person, then, uh, then you got to try to find this book. This was great. I loved it. <laughs> Shit, where am I going to put these? Right there. All right, Oni Press. This is Shadow Road. This is another. He's been doing so much stuff. Colin Bunn, uh, number five. I think this is ten issues, but this is another volume. I think this is, or like maybe a spinoff of the Sixth Gun. Good stuff. I forget who does this cover. Roth, Ruth. Great cover on uh, Dark Arc number 11. This is still, uh, I've enjoyed every issue. This has been super strong the whole time. And uh, yeah, you got to check it out. It's great. Wando, uh, another, oh yeah, yeah Colin Bunn. Uh, and Wando, it's great. I love it. Uh, obviously we all know about Noah's Ark. Uh, but what we don't know is that there was a Dark Ark. Is really interesting. Really cool. Uh, I really enjoyed the first issue of this, and the last page was really intriguing. Uh, I never expected it to go there, so I'm interested to find out what that's about. Uh, Artifact 1. Artwork is great. I love these covers. I love, I love the character design for her. I would totally date this sexy alien chick. Hmm. Look at how sexy, look at the eyes. Huh. All right, anyways. Artifact 1, number 2. Let's see, 15 years of... Oh, 15 years of... Uh, of... Uh, Aspen. <coughs> uh, I do have the uh, an, the J.G. Jones cover uh, for this uh, at my shop. But this is the Jock cover. This is uh, Serenity, number 1. I forget if it's a... Uh, miniseries or whatever it is but uh yeah great jack cover virgin really excited about this uh so this is william gibson i guess he's so he's a director uh this is the unproduced screenplay for aliens 3 for alien 3 and i love this cover um I believe it's going to be 
four issues. Just says issue one up there, but yeah, very excited for this. And then we've got, so this is the Quantum Age, number four, uh, World of Black Hammer. This is yet another one. So this is the fourth, uh, but but I, I don't know if this is a miniseries. This may also be. Uh, but yeah, there's lots of Black Hammer stuff, guys. This is this is awesome. Um, yeah, I've been preaching this one since the beginning. This is good. It's all good, in my opinion. Another great cover. Man, this is still going, man. I've been loving this since the beginning. I remember when this just came out. The Beauty, number one. Um, and actually, that's... Probably got a good shot of my ass. Uh, this was the uh, Jenny. Is that Jenny? No, Jeremy Hahn. She did. Oh no, she. I'm tripping. She did a different cover because this is number nine. She did number one. Uh, this is my. Oh yeah, you guys obviously see it. It's my. Uh, yeah, I'm tripping. I forgot that I changed from the. Uh, nobody noticed that I had uh, the Batwang as my profile pick for, like three or four weeks. Nobody uh, nobody enjoyed that. Although, you couldn't really see it. And then, what I think is hilarious is there's a book from DC. Uh, oh, Hex... Was it Hex Wives? Hex Wives, they got topless chicks in there. Where's the outrage? We get one Batwang, and they change the book up. I mean, what are we doing here, guys? Come on. <clears throat> Anyways, um... Birthright, number 33, another one of my favorites. I think this was option two, way back when. Great cover, same as the uh, art on the interior. That's Joshua Williamson, uh, he's doing Flash. First two issues of this were good. Um, Cemetery Beach, Warren Ellis, Jason Howard. Number three, I think it's going to be seven issues. It's good. Ah, can't wait to see what uh, book Caitlin Yarsky gets put on next. This is the final issue of uh, Sean Lewis and, uh, like I said, Caitlin Yarsky's Coyotes. This is number eight. And look, let's see if we can get some good, yeah, look at the detail. Oh, she freaking killed this last cover. And the best part is, guys, is the she uh, actually painted these, and you know, on uh, Twitter she posted all kinds of pics of it. Uh, awesome. Uh, she's our local goddess of the industry, Caitlin Yarsky. Awesome. Can't wait to see how they end it. Another great series. Uh, this one was option two. I wonder why this one isn't. Is this one going crazy? Like it can't be going crazy like uh, Black Hammer. This one went crazy, uh, well this one already like right off the bat started, so I didn't even, I don't know, did this one have, I gotta look now, I don't know. Uh, but this is the uh, Sorrentino cover, that's awesome, got birds in the, all of it is like landscapes that are in the shape of our main characters, this one is birds in the shape, and that is just brilliant, I love it. And then the variant cover for it done by Jeff Lemire. Another good one, reminiscent of, I think it was the first issue, and another one in between, uh, character uh, profile. Good one. I like his artwork. First issue of this was good. I really liked the uh, Andrea Moody artwork. I'm not sure if male or female, but this is Infinite Dark number two. And it's uh, Ryan Caddy or Katie. C A D Y and then K Michael Russell. Good stuff. I enjoy the first issue. We'll see what this one uh, has to say. Now, I really like this first issue. I just got this cover. Um, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think Mike Spider Slayer was saying, uh, I think it's the Iron Maiden uh, cover swipe. 
Murder Falcon, number two. Freaking awesome. That first issue was so good. And for as wacky as it was, there was some, some good uh, heartfelt stuff in there. That was really good. And then, <clears throat> I gotta look it up, but uh, we haven't had uh, a different, whether it was the uh, signature different, or there was a little creature, like a frog added in one of them that wasn't in the other. Uh, for Oblivion Song, this is number nine. Uh, I've really enjoyed this uh, the whole way through. I'm, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, oh, well, how far can this go? But, you know, I don't know for a fact, but maybe they were saying that about The Walking Dead. You know, how far can he go with this? And then 185 issues later. So, I don't know. I really like this. I don't, uh, I haven't heard, and I keep seeing in previews every month. So, uh, yeah, I'm in. I, re I really like it. And, uh, yeah, uh, not, you know, it sucks because Outcast is coming to an end, but uh, I think I read that it's uh, the end that he planned for, or no, maybe that was uh, what I read about Harrow County, uh, anyways, but, so that's sad that uh, Outcast is coming to an end soon. Uh, so this cover right here, and as crude as, it, crude as it will be, we all know, this is Rose number 14, we all know about that, uh, well maybe we don't, but uh, the uh, Tomb Raider, Adam Hughes cover, the Camel Toe cover, well, maybe this will be another one of those, yeah, because that's for sure. Uh, anyways, this is an awesome cover, regardless of that, oh, there's something in there I gotta... Like a like a it looks like a little piece of pepper or something. I don't know what the hell that is, but we'll get that out of there. That's not what it is, but maybe it's like a little rock or something. But that yeah, she's got like a heart in her hand. That's awesome. That's the main character's sister, uh, Drusilla. I think is what it is. Awesome, sexy, badass, uh, evil. I believe it's the sister of our main character, of Rose. But that's number fourteen, uh, Meredith Finch. And Iguera. Awesome stuff. That's been great the whole way through, in my opinion, too. Uh, here's another one that uh, has had talk. Skyward number... Just, oh, eight. Yeah, this has been awesome. Uh, and I totally am on board with these giant insects. I buy it. Uh, it was just quick, easy explanation. I, I'm in. I love it. Great stuff. Great concept. Uh, another one that's been really good that, uh, uh, you know, I don't know uh, if it's just ongoing, uh, but this is Weatherman number six. There's uh, a couple of covers. I don't know if there was one. I think there might have been one this week, uh, like a one in 25. My shop doesn't order near that many of these. I don't think they even ordered. Maybe they ordered 10 copies. Um, but yeah, there was a uh, Jerome Pena did one. Looked really good. Weatherman number six. Been enjoying that the whole time. Uh, this is my least favorite, but, you know, I'm going to get it for the story. Um, House of Whispers number three. Yeah, this is my least favorite of the four. I believe there's four. Uh, so this is a big one. I also have another uh, variant of this at the shop that I will uh, have to pick up uh, this coming week. This is uh, Avengers number 10, Legacy number ba -ba -da -ba, 700. There were so many of these. Um, $5.99, I just picked up this one. And, well, I picked up another one, but it's a big one. It's a good one. Um, yeah. Excited to see what's going on in there. Because I've been enjoying Avengers. <clears throat> um, yeah, there's been a few that I've been, uh, that I've been good with. Uh, this is another one. Uh, but this is the last issue of the Cosmic Ghost Rider. I don't know if, like, well, not going to be any lasting, uh, I mean, I don't know. Would this be, like, an Elseworlds story? It's not continuity, right? I don't know. But I've been enjoying it. Great cover. Cosmic Ghost Rider number five. Uh, another good one <clears throat> that doesn't seem to, it seems like, like, 
like at one point there was a couple of months between issues but anyways I've been really enjoying this uh, Thor number seven I love the artwork this is uh, that's not dumb no who is that um, the dumb hmm. no I can't remember anyways on to the next one We're going on 15 minutes not bad <clears throat> another really really good one Venom number eight nice cover this one was tough with the all black cover mine is good it's got like a, a a really slight not even close to color breaking but yeah this is a good one and i didn't man i passed up uh and it's not really a big deal on that domino cover <clears throat> i don't know why i do stupid things sometimes often all right last issue of uh Mr. Miracle, number 12. Great cover. Another one of those. And I picked this one because this one was super black. There was nothing wrong with it. And it'll be a hard one to keep, but I'm I'm pretty neurotic about it. So <clears throat> I'll be able to keep it. That's a good one. And then, oh, man, these last three. Holy shit balls. Gabriel Delato, Detective Comics 992. I got another one of these uh, at the shop. Oh, freaking awesome. Gabriel Del Otto. I love it. My favorite artist. Favorite painter. Let's do... <clears throat> yeah, because this last one is just... Oh, man. That is so... These are both so good. What am I thinking? I don't even know. Catwoman, number five. Oh, my God. Maybe we'll save that. Well, it's not like you don't know what it is. But I've actually heard a couple people talking about they don't really, like, Dazzy doesn't like Jenny Frizen. Come on, Dazzy. Oh, and it's, uh, should have said it at the beginning. Sorry. Daz, the key chaser, I mentioned in my other video. Uh, I was way off. Wonder Woman number 58, Jenny Frizen, and this is just, ah, oh, I love her. And tell me this, guys, what, and I, and I haven't, I'm just thinking about this right now, where is Nicola Scott, where is Greg Rucka, What's going on here? I'm going to have to look them up uh, when we're done with this. And then the last one, this is just... Oh, my God. Art germ. Uh, I got another one of these at the shop, too. This is just... Look at her eyes. And I know that this front-facing camera isn't doing it justice, but... This cover, and you know what else I love? That they did the logo... In a very, very pastel color. This is absolutely incredible. You got the whip going through. Look at the... Now, don't look at this picture. Just look at what's going on around them. I mean, it is just incredible, the colors. Look at the purple. <gasps> like a circle right there what the hell was that another one oh my god absolutely mesmerizing oh my gracious all right anyways yeah these are some special these covers these these catwoman covers have been i mean cover of the year material without a doubt And what Joshua Middleton is doing on those bad girl covers. Oh, my God. There's another one coming out uh, next week or the week after. That just blows my mind. So I'll have two copies of that. But anyway, so uh, glad I was able to get this done. Uh, and I think I like my new spot. You guys got to let me know. And, uh, yeah, if anybody. So this is another thing. I, I'll try to mention it more often. But if anybody wants to take their, if you've got a letter in a book, take it to the next level. 
call up CGC, explain the situation, and, you know, I, I as far as I know, I'm the only one who's ever had this. The guy that I talked to, I still remember his name, uh, Spencer. I'm not sure if he's still there. Because um, when did I get this done? In, in uh, 2016. Um, yeah, letter to the editor from Rob Wise Guy 82 You can get it personalized because it's actually part of the book. And they'll put it right on the label. So fun. I totally... Yeah, you'll never forget it when you open it. It's just so awesome. Um, and then you can say that you're only the second person to have it done. So, Anyways, I'm uh, rambling and mumbling and stumbling. So nothing else I want to show you guys. So yeah, we'll leave it at that. I'm going to bed. Peace, love, and comics. God bless.